So there's a rumor out there right now that the Fire TV Stick is coming out with a completely different operating system that abandons the Android-based system that it was using before. How is this gonna affect you and what can you do to prepare for it? That's what we're gonna talk about in today's video. Is it good, is it bad? Let's find out. Let's start by saying we all are aware of the popularity of these Fire Sticks. It's been one of the top selling items, not just streaming devices for many, many years. And the reason for this is not just the fact that it's sold and marketed by Amazon, but because it's very, very inexpensive and you can unlock it to add thousands and thousands of apps to give you all kinds of content like free movies, games, and live TV. This is what sets it apart from the Apple TV and the Roku devices. And this is why it has sold more devices in the, just the last year than Roku and Apple combined. Now, if Amazon decides to change things with this new operating system, it will be basically just like a Roku is now. So rather than spread rumors, let's talk facts about what we know right now. So it is confirmed. Amazon is now working on a new operating system. The code name on this is Vega. This will replace an Android-based Fire OS that they'd been using for years. Now, they initially used this system when they first came out with a Fire Stick because many of the already developed apps run off of it. By using this system similar to what you have on like your Android boxes, you can add those third-party developed apps also like Kodi, Cinema HD, and many, many others that give you access to content and save you literally thousands of dollars paying for cable TV. What we don't know is if by changing to this new operating system, we will no longer have access to those third-party apps. It is just rumored that you won't. We don't actually know until we see it. Nobody really knows it's all just rumors right now, but what I can tell you is the reasons for the change. Now, if you've used the Fire Stick for any amount of time, you may have already noticed the constant updates. Like almost every time you turn on your TV, the darn thing is asking for an update. Well, that's because of the fact that they're using a modified version of an older Android OS. And every time that they're, they upgrade, you get a new Fire TV Stick to the newest Fire Stick. It may say Fire OS 08, which is what it's at right now, but really that's Android 10. And I think we're at like Android 11 or no, I'm sorry, 14 right now. We're like Android 14 on Android boxes. So they are very behind on the Fire TV Stick by using an Android based modified system. And since it's always outdated, apps are always upgrading and they have to do modified updates as well to stay up with the times. So Amazon has decided to take more control. So since they are now the number one selling streaming device, they can control the direction of the market and the app developers will follow. Uh, they might even be, and this is something that I've heard on some of the forums and some of the inside people have said that they may even be making custom apps that only work on the Fire Stick. This, in their mind, would be a huge selling point for their Fire Sticks and future Fire devices. More selling points equal more sales, and that's really what it is all about with Amazon is sales. But I'm sure there will be creative ways to still add those apps, but likely gone are the custom launchers that many have fallen in love with. So when do we expect these changes? Well, as we know, this is just a rumor at this point, but likely early next year they will roll out now they've already started rolling out on some echo devices a kind of like a smaller version of what's coming however i'm expecting a much different experience once it actually rolls out to the fire stick so what do we do well if you are like me and like the freedom to add the apps that you want and the content that you want not just which push to you or advertise to you then maybe if this update comes out and you don't like what you see, start looking at Android boxes in preparation right now. The one that I actually use the most, and I have one of these boxes in every room, is the VC box. It's brand new and it's well known to be the top box right now, uh, basically because of all the live TV options and the playback features. If you miss the show, you can watch it up to seven days later on um, just about every channel, which is pretty impressive. I'll be doing reviews on all those. In fact, I already have reviews on the VC box and a Buzz TV over on Patreon. So if you want to check that out, you, I will put a link in the description of this video where you can go there and just scroll past everything. It's completely free to see it. Um, and you can check out the reviews on the VC box and the Buzz TV. I won't do the Nvidia Shield obviously until it is released uh, first quarter next year. And I hope this was helpful to you. Yes, Amazon is releasing a new 
operating system that is completely different for their devices. Now, is it a good thing or is it a bad thing? Well, it all depends on what you use it for. So is it a good thing for somebody that just uses the apps that are already on it? Yeah, it's going to run smoother. It's going to run faster. You're not going to have those storage issues. You won't have to do updates all the time. But if you're somebody that likes to kind of manipulate it and add those third-party apps, add an IPTV, do all these things, you might want to consider getting an Android box to begin with. There's just so much more you can do it, so much more storage, so much more capability, and it has the latest operating systems already with the latest Android, which gives you more compatible apps. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you're new to my channel, please do subscribe. Any questions, comment down below. Hopefully this helped you out. Yes, it's coming out with a new one. Thumbs up, thumbs down. We don't really know yet, uh, but I think for a lot of people, it'll actually be a really, really good thing. Thanks again. Bye.